Right, how are you with Super Chuffer? <laughs> it's midnight, it's always midnight. We're going to play some Genshin Impact. Um, I've got a mug that we, we can have. You can get a mug. A mug that you can get your own mug. And uh, just get it. <laughs> just have the mug. Don't have your picture taken with it or anything. Just have the mug. You just get the mug and just just have the mug. Don't even bother having your picture taken with it if I were you. Right, there's nobody here now. There was 22 of you before, now there's nobody here. So... <laughs> there was 22 before, now there's nobody here. It just started again. Well, that's good for you. I mean, maybe no one had to do anything. <laughs> as far at my end, it's saying nobody here. So I think we could have done, but like next time, it's well, you know, I have to take the rap. I should have spotted that I was inadvertently broadcasting pornography, but like, you know. <laughs> oh, you're here, right? 18 now. Okay, that worked. We're okay. 18. We only lost four. We only lost four with the nip slip. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't even say that. I retweeted it. I retweeted it on my tweets. I didn't fucking... It's on my tweets now forever. I was like, this is all right. The thing is, what you have to consider, Andy, is that you can either be, like, naked on the internet all the time or a mod, I think. Like, I think they're either or. But, like, if people think, like, you know, when they come to the community for the first time... And if their first introduction to it is this lady who's one of the mods done a picture on the internet of the of the nudity, then they're going to think, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like the extreme behaviour and the representing me on the internet as part of my mod team is a little bit... But then again, it's I, just on the border of being fine, so it's okay. If people can't take a joke, that's fuck them. But you just want to consider sometimes, especially when you're using my stream's name, logo, and merchandise in the photograph. When you're doing all the combination together. <laughs> just want to think about that, maybe. If you're I mean, we're not like, it's not like you're representing, you know, the, the UN or anything, is it? So I think we're all right, but I just like, just fuck it out. Jesus. Mug calendar next. <laughs> yes, a calendar. Actually, um, a calendar is a really good idea because it's coming up to New Year as well. But then, you know, I don't want to get naked. It'd just be Andy for every month. It's just going to be every month. <laughs> Combination mug and peanut. In the pub with all the peanuts. For the peanut in the... Any sponsorship, you reckon? I don't, sponsorship from whom? <laughs> sponsorship from Ofcom. <laughs> sponsorship from I Get Banned. <laughs> Banned. I'd have to broad. I'd have to stream on OnlyFans. I'd have to stream on uh, Chatterbait. Well, there's a good one. Um, is Jess in chat? Next time Jess is in chat, shout out Jess. Because we were listening to one of Adam's streams, Alan's streams, and trying to find out what Alan was looking at and thinking. And uh, part of me, like a big part of me, thinks he had Chatterbait on because it makes a funny noise when it. Um, I won't. I won't go on about it now. But like, we're not doing Alan now anyway. In the main, what I want to do now really is just tootle about on the game, have a chat to you chuffers, just tootle about. So as part of the tootling about, I've got to this weeping willow area, and I've got to search for the key. I don't know what the fucking key is. So I was going to ask the internet. But I could just have a bit of a run around. So Weeping Willow, I'm in the area, I want a key. Look for the objective. And the last thing that I did, it was like a little puzzle. And it had... Um, like, water balls, and I had to fire the water balls around and stuff. And it's in this area. Like, it feels like it would be in the middle with the tree, yeah? But I've already been in the middle with the tree. Oh, and we've got Farina as well, so we might as well get her on the squad. 
Get out of the way, you. Because I've leveled her up a bit. Andy could just start her own channel with her own calendar. And then just sell the calendar. <laughs> or should I become super pimper? I could be so I could become a super chuffer super chuffer pimp super chuffer mimp pimp squad and I could actually pimp out like the calendar myself. Like, why aren't I doing that? I should be like um I should be on that. Where's my new Oh she's down down here. That's Farina. And apparently, I saw this on the internet. I don't know if it's true, but Farina can walk on the water. <gasps> she can walk on the water. What, just generally? She can just generally walk on the water. <gasps> what about if you want to go in the water? You can't, you're in the water. You... Oh, she went in the water then. Oh, it's because I had my friends with me, my special power friends. Then I went, then I walked on the water, right. And now I'm in the water. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, good point. The stuff that I want to... F oh, how clever game. What a clever game. This is so, like, Genshin Impact is so fucking good. Because I know the underwater stuff is fairly new, yeah? I mean, I should have spotted this, but... Like, here's the grove, here's the tree, I've run around, I've looked for my um, quest thing, you know, usually we don't have the underwater component to the game, and in most games you haven't, up, up to more recent times, I mean you've had underwater levels, but now we've got the facility in Genshin Impact just to go underwater when we want, like that, over there, and it's all under there, I was looking for the stuff around here, it's all drab, it's all under there, look, it's all under here, very smart. Very impressive. Blub, 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 blub. Oh yeah, I didn't say that Andy didn't look acceptable. I just said that I didn't know if it was like the public front for my stream venture, as she's also a mod. <laughs> but she can do what she wants. Right. <laughs> it's fine. It's just I get, I get, like, for all the source that I put on the stream, like, I don't actually put any direct source on the stream, you know, I've never directly broadcast any pornography, and um, for all the source that we do, uh, I get quite, uh, what's the word, shy. <laughs> I get, like, a bit of a, um, a prude. Clunk. Clunk, right, I've collected up all the stuff around here now, now what am I doing? Now what I want to do is the puzzle... And I don't know what the answer is already. I'm a bit confused already what's going on here. I can see these things need to go for a start. They absolutely need to go. So I need a special powers for that. I need special powers to blow up those things. And I need special powers to get this out. And that's the special powers that I need to do some of the other puzzles. Right? So I'm going to need to find one of the fishies with special powers. But there are no fishies with special powers. Here's one fishy with special Right, here we go. That's fixed it for me. Fishy with special powers, thank you. I'm going to kill these other fishies because now they're mad at me. But I wouldn't normally want to kill fishies as a general rule. But now they're mad at me, they have to go, so... Bit of shame. Thank you, fishies. Alright, now this power might not do this, might it? I think I need the explosive power for this. Yeah, it won't do that. I like the way they're putting together all the things I've learned so far into this neat section here. That should have done it, shouldn't it? You chuffer. There you go. Uh, also, it's interesting that there's something over here that goes down in a hole. Which we've got a blow up to go in. I wonder if there's another way into this place from somewhere else through a tunnel. Right, let's grab the jellyfish. That's what I've been offered. And the jellyfish allows me to do this. So I'm going to fuck this stuff up. Get rid of that. Get that off there. That's gone. Right, and that's going to clean this up. And now I get that bubble. And I can move the bubble around. 
So I know where that bubble's going. <laughs> Ain't no doubt that bubble's going over there in that middle of that thing. Yeah. I mean, for sure it's got to, hasn't it? But there's a problem, which is that this indicates one bubble hit, please. One bubble hit, please. And this says two, two bubble hits, but I've only got one bubble. <laughs> so this ain't going to work, is it? So now what? I need to find some access to second bubble. Like, what are you trying to... Oh, I popped the bubble by mistake, so that was bad. Now it'll do me a new bubble. Now it'll do me a new bubble. There you go. And I can't, I've got to do them all at once, so I, I can't do it like one at a time and then do a second bubble after. Oh, it's labor, laborious doing this, isn't it? Big ups, red fan. You've seen my nips on screen. Yeah, but I'm male, so the, the rules are different, <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't make the rules, it's the rules of the internet, isn't it? Of the, you know, it's the rules. I'll pop the bubble in. I'm going to pop the bubble. I'm going to put the bubble on there because it really wants to go on there. It won't go on there. I'll just put it there. That's fine. I'll pop it. Look. Do do do. Oh, it worked. I was happy with that, even though that one had two on it. I don't know. We're happy with that now. Now we've got this, so I can pick that up. Don't know what it is. It's another key. Oh, we've got the key. This is our friend who wants the keys. Where did you come from? Disappeared passive. They don't speak properly, this one. They're a melusine. And we don't voice act it, and I'm not reading it for you. I'm just going to give you the gist. Um, they're protecting their home. Don't they live in the village? They live here alone. The visitor, super chuffer, the visitor, the visitor. Who's the visitor? There's a visitor like Paimon called Paimon Passive. Paimon's always said she's very clever. That's a strange name. It's an awesome name. The visitor, knowledge, kapow. The visitor's helping you learn things. Lots of language, wisdom, lots of passive visitor kapow. And that helps you protect this place. Melusine. Who is the visitor? Bad things happened. Kiki Square, West kapow kapow. We'll do the job, yeah. Thanks. Right. I'm doing this as well because it grants me access to a shop to buy some fucking lilies that I want. Right, what I really want to do is blow up these things, but I can't with the power that I've got. Like, it's so obvious that I need a different superpower in here. I've only got... Oh, that, look, it's done the new one for me. It's given me that power. There it is. Okay. Everything's getting blown up now. Under the sea. Down where it's under the sea. That's where it's under the sea. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's better. I tell you what, it's one of my most popular tweets. That is. So, if you'd probably want to edit it and do it again, but I don't know why am I suggesting that you should do it again? But you probably want to edit it and make it so it's le like legit, so it can not be get us in trouble. <laughs> Hang on, there's different ways for me to go here. Go back underwater. Where am I underwater? I'm underwater, I'm opening up pathways, and there's one that goes this way, and there's one that goes that way. I don't know what the point of them is. I suppose they all lead to the tree, don't they? I know I want to go this way through this one, don't I, to where my quest is. But I don't know why these ones go these these other ways. Maybe it was because I could have started the quest in the middle instead of where I started it. I don't know, I'm really confused by that. I just want to smash all the blocks that need smashing before I leave. Do, 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 do. I've smashed that one. Have I smashed this one? This one's the one I haven't smashed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you don't see what Alan's watching though, do you? That's the thing. You don't see what he's watching, but he's watching stuff too. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Alan is bad. Alan is bad. Judging by his face, you can tell what he's had. 
Do 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 do. There's another rock down here. I knew there was other things for me to smash. But... Boom! That'll be some crystal flies. Fair enough. I'll take them and smush. A little more a purse. It's kind of disappointing to see the more a purse. Because although it's useful and it's extra money and that, like, it's just kind of just like, oh, another Mora purse. Like, we're not doing proper chests now, we're just doing little Mora purses. Fair enough. The more a purse it is, then watch out, ghost fish. I'm going through here now. Pew! Under the sea, you don't have to do controlling. Take it from me. It just does it for me. Now it stopped doing it for me. Fuck. Just as I was, just as I was bragging about how it did it for me, it stopped. Here's Farina, she's under the sea. She's the new main character, Archon 1. I've got her. Oh, yeah. Under the sea, main super chuffer. Super Genshin Impact streamer. Under the sea, she's got a hat on. Little shorties. I did the... the um, we didn't do a November special thing, have we? I'm going to give you all the time to prepare for the Christmas one, but I uh, we could have done a cosplay competition for Genshin Impact, remember? We still could do that. Yeah, we're getting this back on. Steve, um, I haven't spoken to him like one-to-one -one for a bit, actually, because he's been in the hospital. But he's starting to look a lot more cheered up and chirpy. Like, so I need to have a big chat with him. You know, I don't know how he feels about sitting in front of the computer chatting or whatever, but likes of his back, isn't it? But based on his ability to sit and stream, and um, not only that, he's got to do some research and stuff while we do it, but um, I'd like to see us take a bit of a push in different directions, explore some other directions, like I said. So I'm aiming for New Year, getting us back doing some stuff um, with no real big push. But yes, in principle, this is going to continue. Um, I could continue it just without Steve, just like get different people in Steve's seat. Uh, but I feel like we've sort of started a, a sort of thing rolling and I'm prepared to just chill like, and also with super chuffer channel like, i've been enjoying myself over the last few weeks on the different channels um big ups red fan for the gifted sub and i was thinking of trying to make super chuffer a little bit like obviously not serious serious because the way me and steve interact and have fun but you know reasonably psychological based now you know i will know what i'm doing so um point is that Yes, it will come back, but I just want to turn my energy to it at some point. And I feel like the lead up to Christmas, I'm quite happy. I'm not worried about it. That's the thing. Um, I think it's gonna, it's poised to do um, the next step quite nicely. So, I, um, but yeah, in principle, I should be on there at least once a week doing some stuff. And thus, we'll um, definitely pick up. So, yeah, yeah. My problem is the more I schedule things in, the it's less. Raining again. I couldn't be happier. Swish, and then Lisa sent the to alien. This is my favorite place to be. Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. <coughs> Thank you. I'm going to change the alien while we're while we're live. Um, the. Uh... Thank you for gifted. Thank you for the tippies and the gifted subs. Um, I was going to say it's more lucrative to be on the main Super Chuffer channel. And as I go down the channels, like Battery Exhausted being live there is quite lucrative, you know, for a live stream. And then down to here, I'm not worried about the money. I'm just chilling with you, Chuffers, yeah? So, like, it it feels like, you know, in terms of work that I put in as work, it's in those. So, like, it would probably be better for me to get on and, you know, do the main show a bit more. Um but yeah, I'm also quite happy to chill tonight. So the other thing that I was going to say is like, this scheduling is really bad for me. I'm really bad at it. Like if I said, like thus it was enough for me to just have one thing scheduled in a week. But um, I want to try and schedule in watching the telly together, the old telly that'll be here on Twitch, I think. And I want to try and schedule in uh, Nutter Watch. as like make those three things happen regularly each week. But if I'd have scheduled Nutter Watch for Friday, because I think Nutter Watch on Friday nights might be fun. Um, I, I already feel like I would have fucked it up. And the problem with it then is if I schedule it for every Friday night and then like one of my friends has a party on a Friday or invites me to a thing and then I can't do Nutter Watch. But I can do Nutter Watch because it's only three hours, but like, I need to make sure I fit them in. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, like being like that. 
scheduling all my streams in at night times or at evening times means that I'm working the evenings guaranteed scheduled like on a timetable. And I don't know if I'm always going to be prepared to just, you know, some week, like today, I don't feel the energy to do a Nutter Watch. So I'm not doing one. But Nutter Watch is fun. And we end up doing it on Twitch anyway, don't we? Like, we just look at some Nutters. But um, having them lined up, I think Alan's going to fit into that now as well. We're going to start just lining them up. Like, you know, I like this idea for this. I would like this. And we'll put those three together in a Nutter Watch and we'll do it live. Uh, instead of what we did this week was things were suggested. I watched them live on here. And then um, we didn't do a Nutter Watch. <laughs> I'm doing this now tonight. But uh, I would have still skipped Nutter Watch if I had it scheduled is what I mean. I'm trying to get my words out. And I'm not making very much sense. But yeah. It's hard to work to a schedule as a streamer because you have to turn up every evening on time at the certain time. You don't always feel like doing that. And it's not the sort of job that you just go through the motions, I think. You know, you would notice if I'm not in the mood to do it and I'm doing a shit show. So, like, yeah. Here's what it is. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting Trisha Trisha says she just caught my neighbour on my ring doorbell checking if my cameras are up and on literally breaking his neck to check <laughs> that's not creepy then <laughs> maybe they just wanted to see what they're like you know and maybe they just wonder if they're real or you know how they're installed. Maybe they want to install one themselves and they're wondering how you've put it up. You know, there could be an innocent, could be an innocent. <laughs> Obviously it depends if you've been, like what my mum used to do is, my mum used to sunbathe in the garden with her top off. And one summer, one of the neighbors decided to do his fucking roof and he just sat out there on the fucking roof watching my mum with the top off. <laughs> Looks like there's a jamunculus in the area. Hmm. Looks like there's a puzzle for me here as well. Destroy all the puffer fruit. Fuck the puffer fruit up. There they go. There's five of 14. Where are the rest of them? I need to see them if I'm going to destroy them. No puffer fruit is safe. From my mad big bomb. <laughs> the proper fruit of Gaza and I'm Israel. Oh, I'm getting warm now. Hang on. <coughs> do, 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 do. I've still got a hood on underneath my jumper. <coughs> <coughs> do, 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 do. Under the sea. Just swimming around. No pressure to do anything at any pace in Genshin Impact. Do what you like, except make sure you've had it done in the next two weeks, otherwise we're going to throw more quests at you. But other than that, no pressure to do anything at any, <laughs> any pace. Do it how you like. Now where's my fucking thing? I'm here in the room. There it is. I'm an idiot. Look, there it is. Thank you very much. That's another Jamunculus to add to the burgeoning collection of Jamunculi that I then give to the statues and they help me level up. And everyone likes leveling up. She swims with two little feet doing little kicks, look. Hang on, hang on, wait. We're not finished swimming yet. She swims with two little feet. I didn't notice that. Look. She swims like that with the one motion, like a breaststroke, and then she swims with the two little feet doing normal two kicks. And then when you get going, she's like doing little dolphin kicks. I didn't notice that. I think they all swim differently, do they? Do I do dolphin kicks? I do dolphin kicks as well. I never noticed that. Do you do dolphin kicks? You do them as well. Everyone swims the same. I just didn't notice. Right, okay. Do, 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 do. <sighs> We're in a cave. Where are I? What am I doing here? Search for the key near the mouth of the spring. All right. Ooh, it's took me to here. Love it. 
see how the game when you do the quests it takes you on a journey through the locations can they design the locations so that like i wouldn't have if i hadn't done my run around before i wouldn't have seen this before so i'd have come out of here hang on let's have my special friends on so i can run on the water thank you um i'd have come out of here and seen this for the first time and been like oh what's this the heart of the spring and i come out and then wow and then that's cool you know like they think about that which is good i've got to search for the key here now i know what i'm looking for i'm looking for one of those puzzles like i've just done but my guess is that it might have to be under the water because the last one was oh marlo oh marlo hang on who's that hang on hang on Big ups. <laughs> you talk to your horses on the camera. The cat baby. Which one's my cat baby? <laughs> my actual cat was meowing at me for the last day. 48 hours like I want to go in I want to go out I want this food I don't want that food I don't want this I want to come out I want to go up are you in bed <laughs> the cat has been meowing at me so she's not been neglected oh 
horse prison, do you mean? The plush is just there for Genshin Impact, like, styles. <laughs> it's just there to fill up the space in the background. <coughs> One of these days I'll think of something good for the background, interior design-wise. I mean, I could stream, I could turn the table, I could literally sit the other side of the table and you could see the other, like, the actual room that we're sitting in more. And um, that's another option. I can't go near to that thing because it, um... Oh, that was a late light lily. That was good. I picked them. I like them. I need them. Um, I can't get near to this thing because it's doing all this heave-ho with this thing. So, I'm assuming that, that I'm not supposed to go there. Oh, there's more late light lilies over here again. Fucking banging. That's what I'm looking for. Late light lilies. They're the best. The more of them I get, the better. The faster I can level up this exact character that we're running around with now. Like light lilies. Look at them. Pick them. Get them. Black, pink, pink venom. Get them, get them, get them. Do you know you can get plushies done of you, or me, probably me, it would be. Um, streamer. They do limited edition. There's a company that does them. They do like a limited edition thing. So you design it. It looks like me, obviously. Or he could do one of Alan, I suppose, but he'd get cross because it's his likeness and he could sue us. But um, like we make the plushie of whatever we want, and then you order them, and if you order them, then they get made. So like, it's like a crowdfund thing, like a crowd justice or whatever, where, you know, if we get the money total, then it get, like, if, if I, like, let's say I think you need 2,000, like, if you get 2,000 orders, then they'll make the plushie. If you don't, they won't, sort of thing. So no one has to, like, um, but if you get like 1,999 orders, and then no one gets a plushie, everyone's sad. But, like, the principle is that you can do a sort of crowdfunded uh, plushie of whatever the fuck you want. I don't think I'm, like, popular enough to have that, really. So, um, but at some point, we could have something like that. One of your horses was griped, so he has to be on himself on the stable. What's griped been? Oh, bad. Hang on, I don't know what that means. Gripped. Was he a bad horse? He's poorly horse. Me and Green's done a face in chat. What's that? What's that now? <laughs> what you, it means a colic. Oh, thank God it means a colic, right? Because it could have meant something really bad. Um, I don't know what colic is, but I assume it's poor list. Poor horses. I mean, there are some benefits for them from their relationships with humans, I suppose, aren't there? Like, we've got vets. There we go. Look, I knew it'd be underwater. Right, so we're away with this. There's the puzzle. Next thing I'm going to need is... I'm going to... Oops, sorry, Krabby. I'm going to have to kill you now. Because now you're eggy. Sorry. Um, what I'm going to need is the special power to deal with this stuff. Uh, and where is that, essentially? Oh, look, here's another room. Okay, nice and cl clever. Another room, and I've swum into it, and I've swum all the way through it, and out the other side, and everything's attacking me, so that's not ideal, really. Can I not destroy this thing with my fucking move, please? I fucking can. I know exactly how. This is starting to annoy me now. Just fucking blow up this thing. Oh, fucking hell. What am I doing wrong? Get that crab out of the way, right? And just blow that up. There 
there you go. Right. So I'm looking for the power to deal with those things. And the power to deal with those things comes from... Can I just kill this one? No, I don't think I can, can I? No, I need to do it with... Uh... Oh, it, I killed it, look. With this. With the Krabby. I didn't realise you could kill it with the Krabby. Okay, that's fine then. Right, we'll go back and kill it the other side then. This is a bit worrisome because there's something sleeping in there and it looks like a primal vicious pap or something. But anyway, it automatically swims me to the other side and I've only got the Krabby power, but if the Krabby power will do it, I'll fucking do it with the Krabby power. Oh, Krabby, Krabby power! Yeah, Krabby power does it, look. They're the same as those bullet bills. I don't know why sometimes it does it and sometimes it doesn't, but... Crappy power. I don't want that thing to go away though, because I want the experience of flying around in the wind with it, really. But it seems like a lot of fun. I think I will make it go away. Maybe. Or maybe that's the spring. So maybe it never goes away. I don't know. But um, I've done this anyway. I've cleared that up. So hooray for me. Now I can go in here. Alright, oh, now this is open. But what's this down here? Is this not a vicious fap? It's like a big wolf chuffer. That's a primal vishish map, isn't it? It's, it's dead. Slumbering. Slumbering vishap. Yeah, go on, poke the vishap. Is it asleep or is it dead? I mean, I don't want it to come to life because it, it's a big chuffer that is hard to kill. And this is a small space that we're going to have a big fight in. So um, I'll just take the key anyway. That's my key now. It won't mind, will it? The vishap by the altar seems to be sleeping, but we should be careful. Oh, brilliant. Here we go. Has the altar already been activated? Someone already taken the key? Furious roar. The fish hat woke up. We've got to scoot. The fish hat by the altar shakes itself awake. It's anger and hate. You swim for the shore. It isn't giving up. Enraged fish hat. Look, see? What did I just say? About this fucking fish hat. I told you that there was going to be trouble. Watch it. It's got new moves. Smash its head off. I think we'll be fine. Like, D has basically done half of its health in one big attack, so I, I think we'll be fine. Cool to have a nice fight. I, I like quests where there's fights, remember, so I, I think this is cool. Got it up in the tree here now. Picked a flower as well while we're doing it. My problem is, though, that my she's my healer and she's not leveled up properly, so a big fight like this, she could easily get killed. And then I've got no healer and everyone's dead, so... Um, that could be a big problem. What's happening now? This thing turned up. It, this thing's made the thing lie down and put it back in the water. I was killing it, I was winning. Um, the key, the Vishap had it in its mouth all the time. How come it gave it up so willingly? Blue thing, good thing, key protect. Yeah, I get it, you don't speak proper language. So what's the point in talking to you if you don't speak proper language? <laughs> uh, Paimon, super chuffer, passive, but key, 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 square west. Yeah, I've got key, 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 now I need to square west, don't I? We're going to square in the west, yeah. This is a bit of a wild goose chase. Um, go to the square. All right, we'll do. Where's that? Never eat shredded wheat. The west. Oh, the Maricot Station. Don't mind if I do. Everyone's a bit poorless. Uh, let's just jump up here. Did you see that poor boy who had the, um, I don't know if I want to bring it up really, really, 
There was a poor boy who had a. Uh, I can see. Hang on, I can see a puzzle thing in the distance that's just a freebie chest. He had a genetic degenerative disorder or something. He was poor, and he died. And he had a racehorse named after him, and it won the Breeders' Cup on like the day before he died. And that was like I read that in the paper, and I was like, I'm not crying. You're crying. And there's nobody else there. Oh, what are they doing all up in the sky? Don't worry, I know how to get up there. Thanks. 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 Look at that, I told you it would be an easy chest. They don't make a chest that I can't get into. Except a few of them, which I found really difficult to find and get. But other than that, they don't really tend to make a chest that I can't get into. And they even leave bully fruit and carrots and stuff around now, so... winning is this thing helping me <laughs> is this fucking water thing helping me or what feels like Nahida's basically nearly dead right I'm supposed to have a healer that's supposed to be doing some healing business in some way super chuff is dead <laughs> having Farina on the team makes it really difficult somehow I don't know why it's getting everyone killed really badly. I've got to quickly go in the bag as well and see if I can't feed someone any foods. Uh, I haven't got any good foods for this. I wanted to save those. But just going to give a couple of people a little bit of food. And just get the fight won. Come on. Don't get hit. A hundred. <laughs> Farina came in and did a quick cheeky hundred damage. <laughs> Look. There you go, she's done that now. She's got that thing out. That thing heals me, but it heals me based off her HP, I think. I think it does anyway. Um, and her HP is really low, not very good. Uh, we've got problems. One of my team is dead. Let's have them back. Thanks. Let's see if I can heal. For, can I, how much can I heal off this? Oh, it's slow. It's agonizingly slow. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. So the problem with it is, is you need to pop that. Before, you need to have that in support while you're hit, hitting. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm nearly dead. Get that out. Like, whereas some of the others, like you get it out if you're nearly dead. And as long as you avoid, I suppose you can avoid getting hit. It's very similar to, um, what's her name? Dory, like, you're like, I'll keep this close. what am I even doing? I'm wandering off my main mission at the moment, which is to fuck about with this thing. Um, big up, Sally Foxy. You never have to apologise for taking time away to do whatever the hell else it is. Uh, and it's always good to have you here. But you see, people are ready to party. I should be on the battery exhausted stream taking the piss out of Alan and other nutters, but I just didn't feel the energy for it tonight. Alan's off in Nottingham being a professional poker player. He's given up now. Alan's completely given up. Like, 100% given up. Like in terms of being a content creator, he's realised it's not financially viable for him. So he has to completely given up and decided to be a professional poker player instead. and A professional poker player. And will only turn up back on streams to create enough noise, grift, whatever, to uh, get those women to give him that money every month. Like whatever he's got now is whatever he's whole, like he's that's he's gonna say we'll keep that by turning up on once or twice a week and dropping it. Like he's dropped a few twi Twitter videos which are just racism, um, not Twitter, sorry, TikToks, a couple of TikToks which are just three different news reels cut together with Alan saying something racist on top. Um, they're really rubbish. So there's nothing there at all. I don't even think he's making them. And um, yeah, every now and then he'll turn up and do it. Like he'll be high on, he'll do a high on coke rant stream every now and then. Basically, he's using his patron to talk about the police all the time to make them think there's a reason he's not there, when the actual reason is just 
he's playing poker now and he doesn't give a fuck about the fucking patron or the, the content creation. He's talked recently, as we saw, about how he doesn't know how to make his comeback. It's obviously been a failure moving to Rumble. Like That whole thing's been a big fail. Do you know what I mean? It's all a big fail for him. So uh, that's that needs to be sort of said very clearly on Nutter Watch. But I'm not doing it tonight. Can't be asked. And then we filter in some more fun nutters because that's always fun. Like there's always going to be lots of fun nutters on the internet. And obviously going back to the super chuffer stuff and thus and psychological based mini documentaries. And a bit of travel to make those mini documentaries. So I think people like travel vlogs, but I don't want to be a travel vlogger in specific. I think we bring in the sort of um, the, the place that we're making the, the video into the video and make it part of the subtext. Lots of fun to be had in the future, yeah. So just chilling tonight anyway. <laughs> Doing this stuff about... I don't know what's going on really here. I know that I have to get three keys for this chuffer. Um, and I've got the keys and the water veins and the visitors. She's talking about the canals, Paimon. Um, the evil visitors in the, 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 the... There's like badness in the water. It's like the water's been polluted in some way. Like... Like it keeps talking to me in these fucking code languages, and it's slightly better than when we had to go around Sumeru and talk to the mushrooms. But I just don't care about what pass passive is saying because I can't understand it directly. Paimon's having to translate it, and like through three or four of these things at the end, it's like tells me what to do, and I'll just do what it tells me. So do what I told. Open the door. Insert the water drop keys into the statue. All right, there you go. Place a water drop key. Place a water drop key. Look, she's over there. That's the actual police there. She's not going to have a problem with it. Excuse me, can you stop messing with the fountain? I'm, I don't, I'm just placing water drop keys. What well, are they supposed to be there? Um, <laughs> too late now. Now this is happening. Uh-oh. The police have watched me do that. It's made a hole in the... It's draining from the middle of the fountain. Paimon never expected there to be such an interesting device under the fountain. We need to be careful down there. Um, can you stop messing around by the fountain now? All right, sorry, whoops. I've just accidentally... Ah! <laughs> as far as the police are concerned, they didn't know that was going to happen, and they're very concerned now because they didn't know there was a hole in the fountain. But as far as I'm concerned, it's just another step on the mad journey of Genshin Impact. What the hell? Um, now we're going down, but all of a sudden you don't know what... Because we're in the water, you don't know what any di direction is, so it could be up. But it is down. But it looks the same as when I go up, because I've got the control of the camera and I don't feel gravity. Like, watch. See? That's up. And that looks just the same as this now. <laughs> this could be a long for all you know, left or right. It's, it, it's, anyway, it's down. <laughs> Paimon's still talking to me. Um, it, all I can see is chest. And I mean luxurious chest. That's all I can see. Obviously, I'm going to press this button, aren't I? It's going to do it for me. I didn't have to swim across this part. It did that for me. Why did it do that? That was stupid. <laughs> I, could have swim, I could have swum across that. And there's fishies there. I want the fishies. They heal me up. Look, my healer's basically useless, so... I'd, they heal me up. Not enough, but some. Okay, now we'll go through this. Don't swim around here, eh? Go exactly where you're told. I'm going where I'm told. That's fine. I'll do what you tell me. I don't mind. There's another jamunculus. All you have to do is put a jamunculus there and I'm, I'm away. Go deeper into the passage. I am now deeper in the passage. I like that cheeky waypoint. This is the route. And I've got to get rid of that pollution. So you don't have to explain it to me. 
I get it. It's been corrupted. I get it. I'm not stupid. I've been doing it. For fuck's sake. <laughs> You know, I've been running around here, cleaning up... Oh, oh, what? Okay, I can see there's baddies. I really want to play as Farina. But she's a level 60 because she can't be ascended because I don't have enough of these. And I'm doing this quest to get these, basically. That's what I'm doing this for. And her artifacts, I've put some on, but I've not leveled them up because they're not the best ones. I've just put some on. So I could make her better by enhancing these. But there's no point because I don't want those... I want to improve these and then enhance the ones that I get that are improved. So, unless I've got a good one, which I kind of haven't. Unless that had HP, HP, attack, attack, that would be nice. Uh, so, for those reasons, she's a bit underpowered. And it looks like there's some fighting to be done down here. But we'll go into it and we'll see what happens. Because the rest of us, we can carry her, can't we, team? We can make it without a healer. I mean, she'll come out every now and then just to do this look. And then we'll get back on squad. Ah, that took a right hit then. Got two gods on my team now. I could have had Venti, the wind god, if I'd have been playing from day one. I would have probably had him by now, but... Uh, and... In Liyue... There's their Archons, the Lorax. But the other one that I would actually go for, or wish for, is the Raiden Shogun. So, but I've got two gods. You know, I'm quite a strong team. And the Traveller, who's basically stronger than all everyone. Um, you're all good in chat, talking about horses and getting up. You're all good. Let's have a look what's going on here. Right, I've got a special button here now that I can use to... Oh, no, no, I'm being attacked. I don't want to do, be attacked now. <laughs> Put my skills back. I've got my skills back. Right, let's go. Now I'm being attacked and I can deal with it. Except it seems like she's going to get herself killed, Farina. Right, is that everyone? I think we've smushed them all up, haven't we? Farina could be heal, heal herself. Could she even heal herself? Yeah. Look at the tiny... This is the problem. <laughs> Look at the speed of the healing. Barbara heals better. Everyone's just... Everyone's healed. This takes ages. I present. I mean, it'll get better as I rank the character up, but at the moment, it's real soft. In fact, it's to the point where I'm going to put on a second healer. We definitely want to keep Farina on the team because it's fun. So I'm just going to throw in a second healer. Yeah, yeah, don't mess about. Interactive. Right, there's one thing done. There's two things done. There's three things done. Not more of them. Seems a bit unfair. Passive Kapow. Passive touches your stomach with her hand and you feel a warmth coming from her palm. You feel like something in you has been enhanced. A bit weird, to be honest. Passive's tired. She gave me some power, so now I've got a magic power. Or something. I mean, I don't know what I'm... What did she do? I just can kill them a lot quicker. I'm just a lot quicker at killing them. I think. There's loads of them over here, look. This is awful. It's like kind of like tiresome and slow. I just want to kill the middle thing. Right, okay, now I can. I suppose it was just a little... Oh, not more of them. I get it. I can kill them and I've got to kill them and get rid of them. I'm dead. 
That was a mistake. I didn't notice that I was getting killed, really. It's not conditional on me playing as as traveller, so. I'm just getting hit by that thing all the time while I'm doing it. Okay, we've done it. That's fine. Okay, you've got funny willies going on in chat. Brilliant. <laughs> If I had to have sex with any soap character ever, Kylie Minogue, probably. <laughs> She's been in the soap. It would be Kylie Minogue. Um, or then, you know, going down the list, Kylie Minogue, Natalie Imbruglia, and Danny Minogue. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to do something about these. Like the Willies, the, the dancing Willie one isn't even one of my fucking... You like it. Oh my god, an arcane formation. Rift Hounds. I'll deal with them. That's my bit. Here we go. This is my bit. And deal with them we shall. Stay in the ring of death. Oh shit, she's going to get herself killed again. <laughs> Dear's the coolest. Your mommy teach you that? <laughs> she's taking the piss out of all the people who go like, waifu mommy. <laughs> Come on, ring of death. Too many of them to get my specials off because they knocked me over, but I'm alright now. This is quite cool that dancing with all these rift hounds at once. Get in the circle of death. You've gone out this. Uh oh, oh, uh oh. Stand near the thing. There's a Vishap on the side. I can see a Vishap on the side. Is that Vishap going to help me or come and hurt me? Look, there's a Vishap in the middle now. What the fuck's happening? That's on my team. The Vishap's on my team. The Vishap's on my team. Because the thing was friends with it. Look, the Vishap's on my team. Look. Look, the Vishap's green. It's on my team. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Vishap. It's badass. It's going to get you fucked, fucked up. <laughs> I don't, maybe I should just avoid the enemies and let the Vishap do it. <laughs> Getting some crystallized shields as well, which is cool. I need to get my healing on. Really. Freena's going to do this. Which I don't really know what it does, really. There's like a Vishaf going off. This is this is getting like to be kind of too much on the screen at once for me to really know what's happening. I'm struggling to stay alive because... I'm back, I'm back up, back up to full health, right. Didn't even eat any food for this fight. Just having it with all these fucking Rift towns and this Vishap on my team. There's another one down, come on. Let's take this one that's nearly dead. Right, there's another one down, perfect. We've got this. That Vishap's holding off the little ones for me. This is cool. This is like one of the coolest fights I've ever had in Genshin. Because that fucking giant scary Vishap, which I thought, don't throw that in as well. That helped me and we got it done together. <laughs> And I, if it knew how many Vishaps I've killed in the in the, the rift, like in the abyss, I mean I've killed like there. Oh dear! 
if it knew. Paimon says, phew, finally that's under control. We sure kicked the rift hound nest, huh? Super chuffer, how you doing? And I can say, I can do this all day. My hands are just a bit sore. I can do this all day. Paimon, sure that wasn't just you boasting. It looks like the roots are recovering. That should be because the problems have cleared up. What happened then? A fish app turned up to help. Yeah, and passive disappeared. Where's passive? It looks like she really disappeared. She's got plenty of secrets for sure. Such a mysterious magazine. Paimon knows she didn't want any reward, but it seems she's odd just to leave it like that. Why? It's as if you had your favourite food, then one day the food looks to you and goes, guess we're through. <laughs> Paimon puts it in terms of food. She's lost a friend. Ah, oh, well, it's the same kind of feeling, you know, but if passive was injured, she seems exhausted. We should look for a nearby. We should do that, yes. Wait, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. Something's happening. Something to do with the water. And the cat meowing. Come on then, you. Never stop meowing, do you? Uh oh, wait, I'm. Okay, I know you meowing. Look, why is the water level rising? Am I sinking or is the water rising? Um, we haven't found passive yet. And we're on an auto. This is swimming me. I'm not swimming. It's swimming me. Can't switch character or do nothing. Um. So it wants me somewhere for the next bit of the... Go with the flow is the the quest. <laughs> go with the flow, go with the techno. Also, just sort of swim. Which is kind of cool. Aquamarina. Hey, you put sunglasses on Alan. How did you do that? And he's had a little weak thing on him like that. How did you do that? We need to get a... Alan, we need to... I will do another emotes stream next time Jess is on. We'll do another show emotes stream. We'll get them on. Look at that. I've turned it blue. I purified it. It was a funny colour before. It was yellow. I liked it when it was yellow. I thought it looked cool. But now it's blue and it looks even cooler. Blue tackies. Oh no, we didn't get a chance to look for her. Don't worry. I'm sure she can swim. That's true, but look at the great tree. It's recovered and it's so pretty. Passive would be... Ho oh, don't... Don't start me. Listen, it's not going to be that passive is in the tree, is it? It's that passive is the spirit of the tree. She was blue, wasn't she? And then, and now the tree's blue and she's not here anymore. And don't don't make me, don't you start me on that. Oh, there she is. No, okay. Because <laughs> in the last one, when with the Aranara, one of the Aranara sacrificed themselves their whole life so that they could start the tree again. And it turned out that their whole purpose in life was that they were seeds for the next tree. And that they, at the end of it all, couldn't quite remember things. But they came back as new seeds, but they can't remember. They had some memory, but they can't quite remember. So when I next saw them, they didn't remember me. But I knew they had made the ultimate sacrifice. And I was like, I'm crying over a fucking bean in a game. Um, but this was close to, it nearly did that. But it's about the Jadis out of EastEnders. Uh, well, sorry, I was just reading what we said on chat there. Out of EastEnders, it's hard for me because there's never been a real sex symbol in EastEnders that I can really remember. And that's a, that's a very difficult question. <laughs> Slip really deep with the blast from the past. So I'm going to have to look at EastEnders. I can't believe I'm going to do this. East Enders hottest babes. <laughs> so oh, it's got it's not got them written as their names. It's got them written as like, hang on, this is from Reddit. So I don't remember. I don't recognize her or know who she is. So I can't pick her because she's not of my era. Like I didn't. Is she one of the Cat family? You know, Cat when Cat first came into it. Um, the Slater family and like at the time when Ricky and uh, what's her name and like when all of them were in it I remember them sort of but I don't know who is she one of them people have all just put words they, there's a list but where's the where's the pictures oh, I can go through the pictures like this Tilly Keeper who is that Jasmine Armfield don't recognise her Louisa Litton don't know who she is Maisie Smith Again, I think I recognise her, but I don't know who she is. Blimey, Kara Toynton. Don't know who she is. Um, Sh Shona McGarty. Don't know who she is. 
Um, Samantha Womack, again, I don't know who that is. That, is that Samantha Janus, but she's got a married name. Um, Daniel Har Danielle Harold. She looks pretty, but I don't know. She's got nice hair. I don't know who she is. Maddie Hill. Like, I don't know who they are, so that's a bit unfair. But we'd have to watch some old EastEnders. Um, you could answer them, yeah, but I, it wouldn't. If I don't know who they are, I'm not allowed to pick them, am I? Because like, who would you most want to shag out of the EastEnders that you used to watch is probably the you know. But I can't remember thinking of watching EastEnders and thinking, oh, I want to shag her. She's a bit of all right. <laughs> I just can't ever remember that you know ever having that thought. Like you probably think that probably more often when you watch like you know Neighbours or Hollyoaks, wouldn't you? But like EastEnders, they didn't have so many for me. Um, can I have the 90s EastEnders can I just put that and just put like East End uh, cast um, like at the time of Grant Mitchell and all that like I mean who was the hotties she was probably a bit of a sauce pot wasn't she like you see what well, it's harder for me to pick I haven't we just went through a list a load of pictures of loads of babes yeah like oh sexy babes and then like the people the, the ones that I had to pick from were people like Tiffany this is probably this was probably the equivalent wasn't it was that Tiffany do you remember her <laughs> and like you know while I was growing up these were the, probably the sort of you know, <laughs> Tiffany, was it Tiffany? I just seem to remember the name Tiffany attached to that face, so maybe I'm wrong. But um, I don't think we had the same, um, I don't think it's fair for me to pick from this lot when you modern people get to pick from all hot babes. But here I can't, like, I can name loads of these people. Like there's Barry, there's Ian Beale, obviously, Mark Carty, you know, What's his name, Mark? Is, was his name Mark? There's the, the v priest behind him who used to talk about him because he had the AIDS. Um, I could, some of them I can name and some of them I can't, actually. Peggy Mitchell. Oh, Peggy's daughter. Would, yeah, but Peggy's daughter was actually Daniela Westbrook, wasn't she? So she was supposed to be a source one, but she wasn't that, like, you know. Um, Dot Cotton's a big one, isn't she? Like... You know, out of all of these, would I want to shag any of them? So that's the problem I've got, is that my my recollection of EastEnders, there's a, th this says it all, is that totally unshaggable all of them, apart from maybe one or two on the left, like, you know, Phil's wife, like someone said, or whoever this, it's, it, whoever this is again, isn't it? It's these, they're the only ones. And then, like, you've got the Sonia family, haven't you? You've got Ricky and Sonia, and Sonia used to play the trumpet, and like, you know, and then, like, it's it's a, it's a tough ask, isn't it? Who's Samantha? Samantha and Roxy. See, I don't even remember the fucking names. Let's put 90s EastEnders, Samantha, and let's see if she comes up. Well, it's coming up as Samantha Janus, but... Or Sam Mitchell. Oh, she is Sam Mitchell. Yeah, but I don't really fancy Samantha Janus that much anyway. And I never watched her in EastEnders. So... EastEnders... Who's Roxy? Roxy. I don't even recognise that much. I think I know she was in it. I think at this sort of time I stopped watching it. But, um, again, I probably wouldn't, like, necessarily want to... She looks a bit angry and a bit mean. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to take her on a date. Like, that's the other thing about it, is the people in EastEnders are always doing, like, things that are, like, you know, nuts and bad. <laughs> like... You know, it's not many of them that are like you'd like to actually go on a date with, is there? I suppose it's not the question is not whether you want to go on a date with them, but you know what I mean? Like it's a bit yeah. I suppose probably the best one I could say is Phil Mitchell, because then at the end of it I could say I shagged Phil Mitchell. <laughs> like and that'd be like you know, that out of all the people in the extenders that I could tell my friends I had shagged, Phil Mitchell would be the one with the highest street cred, I think. Because they go, oh, what, no, he shagged you. And I go, no, I shagged Phil Mitchell. So. Dun, 
probably have that on a t-shirt. Pat Butcher had sexy earrings, yeah, but, you know. I can't, I'm trying to picture in my mind of a time when, because, you know, as a young boy growing up, you see people on the telly and you think, oh, they're, oh, for, you know, whatever. And I, but I can't remember thinking that about EastEnders. So, yeah, it just is, it's a non, it doesn't, it doesn't never went there in my mind, I don't think. And even, like I said, they introduced characters that were sort of um, between the age of, like, being a younger girl and a slightly, you know, mid twenties, like sexy hottie, and they were nutters and like psychotic, and um, I didn't like the best example of this is I think is Cat herself, isn't it? Cat EastEnders Cat, because she was supposed to be a bit of a saucy character, and people were supposed like all the EastEnders people, all the people on the Albert Square, all wanted to shag her, and they were like, whoa, Cat, like you know, everyone was going out with her, and she was shagging all of them and all that. She was always involved in the stories. Like the raunchy and not raunchy, but the, the sort of um, love storylines. But I like, didn't ever do anything for me. So, I, do you know what I mean? I she's. I can see why they put her in the, the you know the role, but it just wasn't. Who's this one as well? This who's this one? She's probably all right. Her sister, the the younger sister, that's more normal. <laughs> And not like a psycho. But then I never really saw her as a source symbol either. So maybe we'll pick her. <laughs> Whichever. It's, it's Stacey Stater. But even then, like, you know, I'm, I'm saying that and I'm looking at these pictures and I'm like, hang on, EastEnders Stacey. Like, maybe I'm not picking her, am I? Like, she always, she's always got this face on. She's always unhappy. <laughs> That's what, that, that, yeah, always cross, always unhappy. I remember from these days, I suppose, when she was younger. I mean, I don't remember from these days, because who's that? But Max was around for a bit, wasn't it? Who did Max used to go out with? Because surely he didn't go out with someone who was non-shaggable. Everyone wanted to shag Max, didn't they? Right, you in or out? In, inking? Yeah, she's meowing at me. EastEnders Max, right? Who's he with? Who did he used to go out with? Stacy. So it'd be that her, but in the Max Branning era then, I suppose. She's grown up a bit since, but <laughs> maybe I have to pick her. <laughs> After some deep research, <laughs> I found someone in EastEnders who I would probably accept is shaggable, but it took some research, so... Um, I like well, I like them younger than fucking Pat Butcher. <laughs> Doc Cotton, like <laughs> Peggy Mitchell, like what's her name? Pauline, Pauline Fowler, and also it's weird because, like I say, these characters have been introduced into EastEnders and grown up on the street. Street, some of them, and I'm now at the point where, like, you know, they're. Uh, like Stacey Stater is now a full grown up older lady than she was when she was Stacey Stater in my memory like it, it just it's a weird question like it, it was easier it was a lot easier with Neighbours because it's just Kylie isn't it any era Kylie <laughs> maybe Doc see maybe Doc Cotton when she was younger but like do you know what I mean I don't know what she looked like so um, what's my ideal type I don't think I have one because I've been out with people who are all different types. So having had that experience, I'm wise enough to know that if I picked someone by saying, oh, they're like, you know, short or tall or this or that, if, like, you know, if I picked someone like that, then that's not the, really the characteristics that I'm looking for, is it? It's more about like personality. Like obviously I still want to have, like, have sex with them. Like, I still want to fancy them. But there's loads of different, like, there's loads of different kinds of people that you, I'm saying this backed by this picture of EastEnders of which I want to have sex with none of them. But like, there's loads of different kinds of people that you could want to have sex with. So like, you know, Kylie, is one kind of person, but there are other kinds of people too. So what I would probably do is uh, it'd be about how we got on and how they like you know were as a person, rather than like. So it'd be a lot more of a complicated decision 
compl compl complicated conversation, I suppose. Than just, and I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to answer that necessarily because psychologically, I don't know if like I know the answers to those questions. Um, but um, as I said, not as a rule, no. Is my response to that, but like. Deirdre Barlow says Slick Willie Deke. Now we're going in Coronation Street. I don't even watch Coronation Street, so I wouldn't know. The only person I like in Coronation Street was um, was Jeff. Because my mum and my nan used to get well eggy about Jeff. <laughs> and I used to go, is Jeff on? Is Jeff on? And she's like, ah, Jeff. Jeff's the bad one. I mean, is Jeff on tonight? He's dead now. Anyway, they pushed him off the roof. <laughs> There's my look. This is my type, the traveller. I'll say that, there we go. Except she's a cartoon woman, so that makes me sound like one of those people who wants to have sex with the cartoon women. Not Paimon, the traveller. <laughs> okay, there's loads of chests there for me. Good thing, Super Chuff, a good thing. Good thing. What do you think? Can we come back to play with you? Where did she go? She disappeared. Interesting melazine, like a wild fairy. Maybe that's why she can spy on the purple thing quietly. Hey, passive, goodbye. If we meet again, I'll teach you to say goodbye properly. Uh, she, this quest was called, like, the fairy of the lake or, or, the, or the tree or something. The wild fairy of Eri ends, it was called. So I was saying she's the fairy. See, now these money purses are acceptable because the more, it's additional. But chests are what you're really looking for, aren't they? Look at all those chests. Oh. Thank you. And I got my achievement. And f I'm told that this means I can now buy and sell, or at least buy, those chuffing flowers that I'm looking forward to upgrade the character. So, I don't know where you buy them from, but I'm told there's a shop up here. Like I've read it on the internet. In order to get more of these things, go to da 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 and do this YZ. So I think I'm going up here now. That's my plan. Basically, uh, and I'll just run up the street by teleporting up here. I mean, I've like I said, I've been out with um, different styles of women, so like I've had relationships that I thought if this lasted, I would be happy with this with different styles of women. So I'm not averse to anything really, but like I suppose within reason, like you know. I don't, It'd be not, like if someone said, do you like tall women? And then like someone eight foot came along. Like, I could end up marrying someone eight foot, but I would be a bit worried about how I'm going to fit on the wedding photos. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think we should do Scotty Hottie dating. There's a few games that I looked at um, that are dating games. Where am I even doing? I'm walk Look, chuff off Hilly Churls. I've got business with some chuffer to buy some flowers um there's games we might even, we could do that on the stream now actually if it might be more fun uh, after i finish this is there's games that are uh, dating games and i looked at a couple and i think i bought one recently and i think they'd be really good streams because you chuffers will like that no i've no look i've been here before and you were a tough nut i had to really batter to battle look, he's nearly killed me he's a tough nut i've already killed him I didn't come up here to get killed. I came up here to go to a shop to buy fucking flowers. Rocky. Now Rocky Alvidson's fucking following me around. Fuck off, Rocky Alvidson. Where's the shop then with the flowers? Oh, Lock of Urania. They said it was up there. I was in the wrong place. Okay, I need to go up here somewhere. Um, okay, back here. And then we'll head north. Blind date me being host. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> who are we going to set people up with dates on no there's these um, I've got five dates we played it before in the past but maybe with a different audience you'd like to see me play it again but I've already discussed my feelings on those characters um, if I open up my steam and I go to my library I should be able to see what I recent new to the library did I buy it or not or did I just put it on the wish list um No, 
no, I don't think I bought it because it's not. I wouldn't have played it. It's not new to the library either. So, um, I'd have put it on my wish list then. Maybe would I? So I know what it is. Uh, sort by date added. Yeah, this is it. It's called Love Is All Around. Okay, let me just show you what it is on me on here. So Google up Love Is All Around. I haven't bought it, but um, it's a. St I haven't bought it, but this is what it is. So you can see what it is, look. It's in... It's Chinese? So you can like, I mean, obviously it's a dating thing. I don't read Chinese, but it's going to have English subtitles. Yeah. She looks about 12. Big ups, Jess. I was going to say, um, why did I want to say something? I was waiting for Jess to come on the stream to talk to Jess. I haven't bought it because what I did was I was looking for dating games, right? Because I think dating games... What have I done now? Search. Dating. Yeah, okay, dating games. Um, I think dating games would be a fun concept for the stream, wouldn't it? Like, you were just asking me about what kind of girls do you like. And there's also a game called Five Dates. And there's a game called Ten Dates. And I was going to play Ten Dates when we got 10,000 subscribers on Super Chuffer. But it doesn't really relate to it. So maybe I'll just do it whenever. But the problem with it is, right, is that when you go on this game shop on Steam to search for dating games, um, some of them are a little bit... No, I don't know. This I think this one's designed for young girls and it's all text-based, so I'm not doing texties. Yeah? I'm not doing that. Uh, but some of them have like got sex women in them. Um, oh, they've got that category look called dating sim. Uh, puzzle dating we don't want to do, do we? We just want something like that with the videos where you talk to the people and then you choose different people and talk about what you know you liked about them or didn't like about them and you know because that's what the conversation is, isn't it? Um, maybe it's not showing me the sex women one because on my actual Steam account it knows I'm 18 and so it will show me all the fucking sex women ones. Um, but a lot of them are just like so boys can have a look at pictures of sex women and play dating with them. And that's not what I'm really looking for. But uh, in theory, there should be some sort of like. Dating, what's this? <laughs> not this one, not this one. Um, Doki Doki Literature Club, look. Not this one. <laughs> but in theory, there should be some like, what's Waifu Fighter? <laughs> like these all make me laugh and I want to look at them. Waifu Fighter, you can fight them. Um, family friendly, it said. Doesn't look particularly... Love choice. What's love choice? This, this this seems a little bit sad for me to be playing as a single man on the internet a game that's hand drawn about little cartoon love and me to be a, I'll be like oh I haven't got a girlfriend like you know it's a bit sad isn't it? Um, I was looking more for I don't know if I just show you the ten dates because ten dates makes more sense than if it's not going to show me stuff like that. Um, ten dates. Pick up the phone. What's happening? I've got some news. Okay. I signed up for speed dating. Why are you telling me this? You sure? I might have signed us both up. I was duped into coming here this evening. There's no substitute for meeting someone face to face. This is where you're going to find that genuine connection. Fun to test the strength. How about we do an arm wrestle? Yeah. Alright. No, I'm kidding. The problem is I'd have to pay, play that guy. Get your arm on the table, lad. I can't. And like you do all the choices and the people react and you know it's all video like I had the voice actor on my stream, yeah. I did actually, you're right. I don't know if that's true, if it was just someone that worked for the company that wants to promote it, but yeah, we did actually, yeah. And we did say we'd play it one of these days. 
Um, as far as they were in on chat, weren't they? They're in chat. So we should, you know, we should do a bit of that. Maybe. The problem I have is that I always have to play as the character that they present. And I would make very... I mean, I do make the choices, but I, I would feel very differently about me being represented by that guy. You know what I mean? But that's how it goes, isn't it? But yeah, 10 dates. So games like that I thought would be quite suitable for our Mimp Squad streams for fun. I don't know. If anyone knows of any good dating simulator games that they want to set me up with. <laughs> See how funny I am because I just did a joke about it. Um, I'm heading north anyway on this. I've got, I had planned Mafia, but not just like, I'm heading north, am I? Um, I planned Mafia. <laughs> Where am I going? I want to go up there to the yeah, yeah north. So Mafia is not a dating sim. It's naked attraction, a film or a game. Um, and what was it? I was good. There was something I was going to talk with when I, I was waiting for Jess to be on the stream, and I was like, um, was it the? Was it the? I don't know if it was. I don't think it was the thingies, the watch thingies. It must have been Alan related. Oh, that was it. Um, in Alan's video, the, the the sound and the one where he, is it the one where he rips off the the thing? I, I think it's that video. He's supposed to be listening to his headphones and what. I'm a bit confused about what we're looking for and when because um, I hear some couple of funny sounds during it. And one of the sounds that I heard that I felt was masked by his speaking but was audible to me and I think it might have come from the headphones I don't know but um, and I didn't do putting it into a computer and doing anything with it I just listened to it on the phone like um, that thing right I thought I heard the chatterbait -de 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 noise on, on the streaming service chatterbait which is obviously sex people um, when they get a tip it goes D -de -de -de. hang on I can, click, I can get that on the internet for you without ruining the show surely I can google just that up and it won't it won't be like you know it will just play the I'll do it on YouTube because if it's on YouTube it can't I can't be bad can I um chatterbait tip sound it must exist mustn't it so that other people can just see. that's not what I recognize that's the large apparently token sounds all right that's not what I'm looking at no maybe I'm wrong what what, what is it then I heard like a dee 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 and I thought that was like, that was it. That was it. So it, maybe it's the value of the tokens, but the dee 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 dee. That dee 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 dee. I thought I heard that when I was um, listening to Alan's um, recent... Like we were listening in on the one where he pulls the thing off his sleeve I, I think it's that one isn't it i'm talking specifically really to jess who like you know we were listening to that um and that was something that stood out for me maybe that was my uh thoughts on that but um if so it could be that he was just watching someone like it let, let's just say I, I did hear that right he could be watching someone who's on there and just keeping an eye on them and he could know who they are and he could be keeping an eye on them if you know what i mean so um I don't know, that was, that was my only input to it, though, is that I couldn't hear anything else, like, uh, to confirm or, you know, deny anything else. I did think it was interesting that he would be considering listening to a podcast and relaying the information. The one thing that stood out is, um, not with what I could hear on the audio, because we're trying to, I suppose you would hear the overspill from the headphones, and, and you would be hearing, like, what he's listening to. Um, the, uh, the thing I did hear, though, a couple of times is that he said, Birmingham, Wolverhampton and London and like he threw in London but they were talking about Birmingham and Wolverhampton so whoever was making that speech was from Birmingham Wolverhampton way it might have been they just called into LBC radio or it might have been anything but they were definitely not you know they weren't his words because what's he got to say about Birmingham and Wolverhampton like he's never mentioned Wolverhampton in his life on any of his episodes do a plenty of fish stream like Time Booth does. I don't know if it's legit, Sick Willie Dig. That's a good idea, but I don't know if it's legit. Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, doing the stream is legit, but I don't know if I'm legit streaming it, like restreaming it. I think I'd be, if I break terms of service, I don't know who I'd 
Like, I don't mind fucking up plenty of fish and like, you know, burning my, like having a plenty of fish stream and burning that stream, that'd be fine, right? But if it fucked up my Twitch stream, that'd be bad. Because I, like, I don't know how time gets away with it sometimes, but he does some stuff that's on the edge and he gets banned sometimes, doesn't he? So, um, I, I'm, I, I think the only way I'd be able to do it is if I did it just exclusively on Plenty of Fish. But then I'd be a Plenty of Fish stream and like, I don't ever want to do that. Um, you'll all get in their box and be <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Like, I don't know where we're going with that. Like, Tyne seems to pick some strange characters as well, which is great for not to watch, but... Um, like, see, see to Nutter Watch, Tyne could sit with me on Nutter Watch and we could both talk about Nutters together. That would be an awesome thing. But um, me follow, like, me on his stream also commenting in the the thing, yes, me being on the Plenty of Fish myself, I'm not so sure. Um, I don't... Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I'd have to look at it as a concept. I don't really... I, I don't really see me actually doing it for fear of getting myself booted off the internet or booted off my quite legitimate streaming services. I think the other one that they do is Omegle, don't they? Um, and I don't really find that I'm good on talking to a random person on Omegle. I don't really... I feel uncomfortable about it, to be honest. But streamers do do that. But yeah, exactly. Me, Martin and Tyne in a cafe in Amsterdam. Exactly. That would be just... Just get the cameras on that and let it roll. If Alan wants to come or, you know, some of the other nutters want to join in. Um, I want Steve of the Dead there as well. <laughs> bit of normality, a bit of balance. Has Omega been taken down? I don't know. Big ups, Toffee. I don't use it. So I, you know, I've seen it in the past and I have used it once. And I was just like, fuck, this makes me feel well uncomfortable. Randomly talking to people. What am I supposed to say? Uh, hello, people. Don't know who you are. Oh, right, you've gone. Um, I think what people do is they just sit there waiting for someone they fancy, don't they? And then when someone they fancy comes up, they, uh, shit, um, hi, uh, and then they've gone. <laughs> you took over your guy friend's plenty of fish. Well, they, like, it could be a laugh, that could be. But it does involve streaming people from the general public who are on plenty of fish that don't know they're being restreamed for me. It's like there's like a courtesy aspect. I mean, I'd have to say to them at night, I'm streaming on Twitch, so welcome to the show. And then they'd be like, you're doing what? And I'd be like, oh God, this is a bad start. It's an interesting concept. Where's this fucking person that sells the stuff that I'm looking for? I'm not even going to break the crystals now. I'm so intent on getting more of these. I'd mark this, but it's not here, is it? This is just a shrine of the depths. Have I got a key for this? No. So where is the chuffer that I can buy the fucking stuff off? I'm going to have to ask the internet. Google. Um, what was it called, even? Midnight Lily? Lily of the... Genshin... Put Lily and it will just. No, that's a character. Glaze Lily, no. Lake Light Lily, yes. Genshin, Lake Light Lily. Um, and Shop. Locations and Shop. They're all over the show, look. So I should be able to get more than I think because I didn't realise there was that many all over the show. But I have been around and picked quite a lot recently. And I can't really be asked to go around looking on the map, finding like, you know, I've just now I've been around that tree, so I'll pick them. I'll pick them first. Maybe there's a few up there that I'm missing. I don't know. Um, so I've got to have a look at that. Yeah, I get it. But 15 of these lilies are unlocked only after completing Wild Fairy quest line, which will spawn around the tree and the lake in Weeping Willow of the Lake. Ah, so now I've got 15 more lilies that I can pick up. Is that what it is? Weeping Willow of the Lake Lilies. There's fucking loads of them. Look. I'll run around and pick them. What about the shop? You said something about a shop. Lake Light Lily Shop. Passive Shop sells 15 Lake Light Lilies. Right? Passive, a vendor, sells 15 Lake Light Lilies. 
You can access the shop by completing the quest. The shop does not refresh. Oh, what? It just does it once? Well, that's... Oh, I've done all this work for one, one trade. She's up here at the top of the lock, at this crag of the rock, yeah? And it's for one, one off. Oh, jeez. Jeepers. Why doesn't it refresh weekly? Or at least every, you know, well, weekly, probably, or at least two days. But I can find my, my friend passive. That's nice. But she's not going to refresh. And hang on, there's a... Where's the jamunculus here? Where's the jamunculus? I should be able to get it. I'm flying around, aren't I? Or is it in the water? It's not on top of the tree. Is it in? Is it in here? Is it in here? No. Where is it then? I basically stood on it. What do you mean investigate? I've got the block. Oh, I'm stuck in the fucking... I'm stuck. Right. Well, that fixed it. Is this an answer from, from this world? world? Is this an answer from this world? Now, where is my little friend? I just read on the internet that she's over here somewhere. By a crag in a rock. It, it didn't show me exactly where, like... It just said she was, like, over here. Just right ahead of me, basically. But I don't want to fall down too far if she's down... Or maybe she's down there. Maybe she is down here. Wait, where is she? If I fall down, then I'm down and I can't get back up quickly. Maybe I have to refresh it and come. Oh, I've fallen in. Right, I'm alright though. This is great. Wild goose chase, just looking for my little friend. Maybe she'll come back up like after a bit because I've just finished the quest. She's up there somewhere, maybe. I just run all the way up here. <laughs> now I've got to climb up all the rocks. Is what it is. Maybe I should get. Okay, here's an idea. Maybe I should get you to create, like, instead of doing the account like I would normally do like making my own dating site account uh, I've heard of Hinge is Hinge a thing? I don't know what Hinge is really like you know if it's a proper thing but maybe I should get you Chuffers to number one provide the photos of uh, how am I going to get you to provide the photos they'd have to be screenshots of my streams that'd be weird um, but, and then two you could, you could write the fucking profile you could decide who you like swipe left swipe right you know if we did a Tinder you could do the swiping maybe I don't think you're allowed to do that either though because it showing loads of other people's personal details but um, I could still tell you what I think but you could have the ultimate decision um, I'd have one or two vetoes if I thought no she can't go past without proper well, you know then I could have one or two vetoes but otherwise you know it's like the dragon's den of dating and you are the dragons and uh, that's really bad actually you don't want to be dragons the sharks you don't want to be sharks what do you want to be you're the chuffers only a chuffers den and you are the chuffers so and then we get them on the show if they're successful and they have to be interviewed on the internet <laughs> and like internet dating and then you in chat they vote them like we do two at once and they vote them off in chat like I'm the bachelor <laughs> that's never going to work why not or well, they'll have met me. When they meet him. I was, I was going to play on a Blackadder joke there. Blackadder, when he says, uh, 
it's the, we'll marry him off to the Queen of Spain. And he says, she'll never marry him. And he says, why not? And she goes, she's met him. <laughs> All right, you, you water chuffer. Silly water chuffer. Oh dear, being all made of water, and then I'm all made of stuff that kills water, so now you've got problems. Where's my friend? I was promised a friend that was going to sell me some of these chuffing things. I might as well go and pick them from around the fucking... Where's the friend? I might as well go and look. There she is, look, on the map, in the circle. There she is, look. Right? Lock Urana, and just up there at the top corner. Right? Now, where am I? That's where I am. Lock Urana. There I am. I'm a bit north of it, yeah? so I want to come to the south, so it must be here, yeah? Hang on. It's there. It's there. She looks like she's near some rocks. Right? It's just. I'm so close. Where's the friend? Where is the friend? I think she's going to sell me some flowers. And apparently it's a one-time deal. Where is the friend? She must be down a bit, but last time I went down, I didn't find her. And then, where is she? If I don't find her this, like, this little run, I'm, that's it, I'm fu fucking it off. Because I mean, there's only 15 of these little flowers, but I wanted them. That's why I did the whole quest. Where is the friend? Maybe she'll be back later, another time. A little cave here, look. What's this? Oh, that's how I came in, in the first place. Yeah, well, I haven't found her then, so... I... But, apparently now, all around the tree, there should be loads more flowers for me that I can pick. So let's go back here and pick all these new flowers that there definitely will be, yeah? Not these ones, the maricots. I need the other, the other ones, the blue ones. I mean, when I first got here, there was a few. Oh, there's, there are some as well, there are some, hang on. Not these. There's some here, look. That's more than I've got. That's two more than I've got, so that was good. There's some here as well. Lake Light Lilies. One up here. This is going to end up being a run. I'm going to have to do this another couple of times. They're on the... This, this tree... They're on the tree as well. This is brilliant. I'm getting more late night lilies. I know, I know they're on the tree as well. They're not over here, which is a bit of a shame. Although I bet I'm missing some that there were, because there was loads on that little map, wasn't there? There was like loads of numbers. More over here under this blue tree. I'm le leaving those slimes. They can just live. I'm just on the lily collection. Late night lilies. Get your late light lilies. Get your late light lilies. There's another little cavey thing here. I'm real tempted to go down that. Like there's a hole. I want to go down it, but I, yeah. Late light lilies. Gonna run all the way around looking for late light lilies, and then I'm gonna go in the middle on the tree and get more late light lilies, and then if I don't have enough late light lilies to level up my character, um. And I just don't have enough late light lilies to level up my character. And then, welcome to the grind. I'm not getting the map out again and looking like that's not what's happening. I just wait a couple of days for all these late light lilies to come back and have to run around here one more time. For late light lilies. Have you got any late light lilies around here? These other lilies are here, which is great, but I don't want them. The pluey lotus. It's late light lilies we want.
I'm trying to keep up with what you're saying in chat. I'm not really keeping up. I think I'm keeping up a little bit. I'm going on about late night lilies. There was another one on that fucking island. Right. Just turn this one over here. No, I picked it. Look, it's just a bluey lotus that's twinkling. Right, into the middle. And we can dive as well, can't we? But they're not going to be underwater, are they? Just this stuff. Yeah, they're not going to be underwater. Wee, but there's a few here. Oh, good. I mean, you don't know. We picked a few. Everyone that gets their Farina in Genshin Impact will be doing exactly what I'm doing. Is hunting up every late light lily they can find. Time gated only by the collection of late light lilies so they can ascend their character there we go that was good boom <laughs> that's more like it as expected my dazzling side comes through in any situation good I have all the books I haven't got enough books to get her up to the next level but I don't have enough lilies either, do I? Because next ascension is 45 lilies. <laughs> and whilst on that map there was quite a lot. Uh, and I can get 15 off that little chuffer, apparently. Apparently. It looks like in total there's 77 lilies in the game, yeah? And I've already, the thing is they respawn after you pick them, but they have to take some time to respawn. So I, I think I've picked them in the past, but knowing the 77 means that I should be able to get the next. But I've just picked a bunch like this around here. There's some over there, there's some over there, a few over there, a few over there. But will I get another 40 before? I don't think I'm going to, you know, she's having a titter in the background. Um, I think late light lilies are the thing that's going to hold me back for the ascension. Well, they are the thing that's going to hold me back for the ascension. I'll be able to bash that boss in two or three times no problem um probably three or four times but no problem and i've got everything else it's just them <laughs> picking flowers in genshin impact that's my new priority <laughs> but yeah i've picked the ones around here so i might just leave that until they respawn and then just go and get them all in one big go knowing that there's going to be at least 40 hang on i'll go where did it say it was over here for pick them here before have they respawned since I last picked them, that's a question. Didn't like it. There's a crab there, a fucking crab. Doesn't look like it. Can't tell, I can't remember where exactly they were, but if they're not here, then like, maybe they're not here. Eh? Oh well. I'll wait for them to respawn and then I'll level her up next time they respawn. Complete the potential energy orb challenge without triggering any explosive barrels. What the fuck do you want me to do? You want me to move this ball somewhere? What do you mean? Oh, it threw that hole. Okay. And I've got to do it with the energy orb. Okay. But I'm going to explode the barrels though, aren't I? Because I'm going to smash the barrels with it. I still don't have a, a, a understanding of how to make it go up or down, really. Because when I press the button, it just goes... That's the wrong button. When I press the button, it just goes... Like that. When I exploded the barrels, look. I didn't even let go of it. Oh, that was because my stay put device exploded the barrels. Brilliant. That exploded the barrel. Alright, we'll try again. This will be fun. Every time I explode the barrels, everything's going to blow up. I just got to give it a whack, yeah? Oh, you can't even see it. Look, duh. I just got to give it a whack. Oh, I won that one. Okay, I've got to give that a whack. Just keep giving them a whack out of the thing. 
No, no barrels triggered, please. It's, it's an interesting physics thing, this. It's like playing a little bit of golf, so to speak. But I don't want to play any fucking golf. I'm playing Genshin Impact. So I kind of hate this. Now, there's a couple on the, the map that I've already found difficult, and I kind of hate it. I've already fucked this one up. Because it's going to miss. I'm trying to wait for it to come back this way and it's not going to come back far enough. And I exploded all the barrels. So I don't know how to get it up off the ground even. I don't know, like... When you press the button to make it happen and attack it, it just goes on it. Like, I'd want to give it a shot at the, the base to chip it up. But I don't know if I've got control of that. Oh, I have, though. I've got some sort of spin on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know how to control it, though, because I'm an idiot. Okay, it's my fault. Look, I, I can actually point it where I want. It's not that you're doing giving it top spin and side spin and back spin. It's just that you're pointing it where you want. But that's okay. That's a step forward. <laughs> Brilliant. Fucking trick shot, Genshin Impact trick shot. I'll do this one more time. If I don't do it, then I've had it. Had it with it. Oh no, this is going to explode the thing now. I can't undo this. That's going to explode the barrels. <laughs> right. <laughs> the barrels was fun. I don't care about them. No more barrels. I've got a new Court of Justice barrier that I can use in my teapot, which I don't use. And I've got 12 of those that are going into the, mo into the mountain and 40 into the statue. And then 43 of those, which means we've definitely got some rewards on the cards. For all that messing about. I like Toffee's comment there. Someone was special will appear when you least expect it. I found that most of my... Um, I don't know, you know, as no relationship has worked out, and I'm currently single, it probably is a bad... I don't know who am I to speak, but most of my relationships that I thought were good, uh, I it's not like I fucking wrote out a list and went and harassed people or had any sort of... Um, you know, I just met someone in a fucking shop or wherever, and I was like, hello. <laughs> You're ordering then. Um, there's a jamunculus down here, I just want to come and grab it since I'm doing jamunculuses. But if I can't just grab it, then... Uh-oh. Oh, we're underwater, but we're not underwater. What the fuck? This is cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Operable mechanism regulating valve. This is not so cool. Use the two crystal receiver nodes to receive, create a bi-directional valve. Throw, uh, <laughs> mim, 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 mim. Like, who can be, re I don't want to read that. Let's go back to fighting this fishy. No one wants to read that. And don't you go in the sea. Oh, we're not fighting in the sea now. Oh my god. Come back out here, I'm not fighting in the sea. No one wants to fight in the sea. Come back out here. No one wants to fight in the sea. Stupid fishy. Oh, you can fight it while you're out here. Even though you're not in the sea. That was quite cool. Right. Now I'm in the sea, but I don't want to be in the sea. I want to go over here and get this thing. Now we'll go in the sea. Under the sea. Don't know what that's for. But I've got it. And I'm going to do it with this. Okay, that's gone in there. 
Um, I want the sea magic creature so that I can spin the thing. Spinning the thing will move the thing. Um, create a bi-directional valve. <laughs> so, what am I doing? I've moved the sea up, look. The sea has gone up. So that's good. Isn't it? I, don't, I can't move these statues, but I want them to be wet. And I want the sea all the way up so I can get that. that. So, I, I suppose I just keep spinning the valve. There's more of these things over here now. I don't know if they're useful. I don't need the sea monster magic. It's keep, I've done it again. It's moved the water again, yeah? I'll just keep doing it until everything's happened. Right, I think everything's happened now. Aquamarina. Thanks. That was good as well. Coming up roses today. Watch your head. Do it one more time. Watch your head. She does a roll on it. She can bang her head. Um, collect the hydro particles. I will do. If that's all you want done, don't worry. I can handle that. Hydro particles it is. Whoa, 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 steady. I've missed one. I've got... It fired me past one. Careful. You've got to collect them all. It's like Pokemon. If you don't get them... Well, I never collected all the Pokemon in any of all the Pokemon games. I've only played one of them. Pew. Aquamarina... What? Underwater? Don't mind if I do. Collecting particles under the water. And there's the chest. Wee, but I do want to go back out, back to where we were, please. Swimmis, splishes. Splish. Yeah, do you know what, actually? For a while, I had a dog that sort of precluded me dating. When I had the rescue dog, and he would bite. <laughs> no, he wasn't that bad, actually. I did date people when I had that dog. But now I've got a dog that's, like, really good. Like, so maybe I should put that on my dating profile. I have a good dog. <laughs> a very good dog. Uh, I'm here to worship at statue. I've got 13 of these, but it's not enough. I need another, what? Nine for the next level up. Someone got crossed the other day in a comment. Well, they didn't get crossed. <laughs> Someone put in a comment that um, I had to use the calculator to do the maths for the 10% of the thing. And I'm like, listen, in my brain, I thought, listen, I smoked loads of weed and I had to prove that my maths was correct. So I always use the calculator. Even if it's like 10% of 100, I'd probably just automatically open the calculator and type it in there and just get the answer. Back at school, I'd have been on it. I'd have been like, oh yeah, 10% of X over 3. I'd quite like to do one of those streams where we go and do the old, like you can take the GCSE maths test and see if you can pass it. And I bet I'd fail now. But back at school, I did A star. So, I, you know, I just stick to, I remember the fact that back when I was younger, I did good. And then uh, that's fine. I'm not. I don't want to push it. <laughs> and I don't want to look silly on stream by accidentally making a silly mistake as well by going like ten percent of this. Oh, it's this, and now I get it wrong. You know. But I was critiquing Alan for not being able to do the mental arithmetic, so I should have done it in my head. But again, I'll, I'll go. I'll refer you back to Exhibit A. It does smoke a lot of weed. So if I was going to do maths puzzles, then maybe I wouldn't smoke loads of weed first. Um, okay, I've, hand, I've given those things into the statue. I'm just walking around collecting things. Uh, I also want to go to the fountain. And maybe me and this fountain are going to have a better relationship now that I've done so many quests. I've done such good work around fountain. And now I've got the archon. Look, her little. I've got the sound turned down a bit, but um, her little feet go tip tap, tip tap with her shoes. Uh, had the sound turned quite down for the whole stream really but 
is what it is. No one told me. No, no one's bothered. That's fine then. Um, tip, 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 tap, tap, tip, tap. You can just hear her shoes going tip, 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 tap, tip, tap. Oh, look, there's a spiny crystal. Tip, tap, tip, tap. So this place is re usually really bad for my wishing, but um, I think I've got a free wish and I've got no rights of getting anything. So let's see what we go. Nothing. <laughs> Good. That was the free wish. And I'm offering some hydro sigils. It, it liked that. So it gave me a reward. Philosophies of justice. Oh, I'll take them, but... Yeah. What's the next reward? Because I'm very close to that as well. The next reward is two free wishes. Hooray. And then the one after that is a Shrine of the Depths Key, which is good. And then it's uh, Philosophies of Order. Boring. But then it's Intertwined Fate. Is there anything else more interesting to do? She's having a pop at me now. That's going to be really good. As a streamer, you leave the characters in idle quite a lot and do the talking, and then they pipe up and do their things. And if it's a good character like Amber, she won't say much. She'll just throw something around and make a little noise. But if you're a bad character, you'll have a pop at me for not hurrying up the game. Um, Kaching does it. She's like, haven't we got business to get to? Haven't we got work to do? I'm like, oh, mate, you calm down. This bit's all right. You know, you can do as much of that as you want. pick some of these flowers don't need them for anything I just enjoy picking the flowers because it goes clung and I know that I know that they're here and to know that they're here going unclunged is just a tragedy so this one as well clung and then there's one down here don't need them for anything clung and then over here I think there's more roses up here isn't there yet Thanks. Uh, on my book, I should be able to trade in all my what I've been doing today for the commissions. Thank you very much. That's cool. That is that's a cool feature. And I've also have I got that? No, that's my next quest. So at the moment, all the other Genshin Impact streamers are doing the main quest on stream, aren't they? It's brand new. They're doing it on stream. Um, but I like to just let everyone that plays Genshin Impact have their own experience of it first, and then maybe they'll watch me at the weekend after they've done it themselves. I'm not desperate to do the, the new thing first every time, but maybe that's a mistake. I was really good at maths. You were all talking about maths. I, I was really good at maths at GCSE. Then we went to um, A-level, and I actually took maths at A-level. And it was like a proper step up, and I just didn't want to apply my fucking brain thinking to the fucking complicated maths every day. And whilst I had this, like, you know, the aptitude maybe, like, I hated doing A-level maths. And it was complicated and it got hard. And I was like, this isn't for me really. It's not the, like, not the thing I want to do. I had to drop that pretty quick. Yeah. A-level maths. I thought it'd be easy because I found GCSEs to be like, whilst you have to do some thinking, like all the concepts were just like, yeah, I get, okay, I get that, I understand that. And then you do the thinking and do the, you know, the, it's like a logic puzzle that you just sort of work out, isn't it? But then it became more than that. It became like a bit extra. Um, and I can't remember to this day now, I can't remember what cos, sine and tan are. But if, I, if you explain it to me again, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I've got that. But... Um, to this day, I can't remember what was going on with all that. <laughs> but it was a big thing of it, you know, getting on beyond the algebra and doing the geometry. All that stuff. Um, I, yeah. And it's weird because I don't know how much fun cause I would have had fun to utilise it in the future, but, you know, you don't know what you don't know, I suppose. But not constantly worrying about how I can't, like, you know, remember cos or sine or tan on the complicated calculator buttons.
So yeah, I'm not doing main quest now tonight. It's getting on as well a little bit tonight, but I'm not doing main quest. But I've still got some in me for some of this stuff. Um, a lot of these ones on the quest list are story quests, and they do a lot of talking. So I don't really like them, but they're starting to stack up now. But maybe that's like a Sunday thing where I don't mind about the talking. Uh, I've got a Fontaine. Oh, it's my only other Fontaine one that's on my list, but I do know there's some... Um, There is some. There are some quests that, for example, Maricot Station. There's a quest that I haven't even asked what it is, so let's find out what it is. This is your Archon speaking. It can't be. What are you doing? She didn't do anything. Don't hurt her. <laughs> I took the newspaper with your secret letter hidden inside it in the coffee shop. She accidentally... She's talking a load of nonsense. She's writing a detective novel. And she's overthinking things and getting paranoid. And she took a newspaper and it had some... Bones in it, fish bones, and she got paranoid. So what's the quest? No. Talk to the... Head to the vicinity of the... Ac what? I thought there was going to be some running, collecting, fighting. And I know that that's too basic for every quest, but a lot of walking and talking, getting on the Aquabus, that's not really up my street. But now we're getting on the Aquabus, so... You doing, Kat? What's this? What's she doing? Why are you crouching on the ground holding your head, says Paimon, intrigued. She's hiding. We need to get down because it's unsafe. There's going to be a knife. She's scared. She's just paranoid. She's like creating weird situations where something's going to attack her. She's scared of the Aquabus. She's having an anxiety attack about the Aquabus. You right, Minky? Nothing happened, we're still alive. Go to the cafe. He wants us to go in the lift and call the cafe. Go to the cafe. Hang on, where am I? I'm in Fontaine. I'm not going to call in the lift. I can go to the cafe just by flying and running about. So, um, where is the cafe? Minky, you just come in here and you want to go out. <laughs> Go here somewhere. Quarter Fontaine. She's scared of the guards. She basically everything that she goes, she's having a panic attack about everything. She's scared of everything. And she's not like she's making up stories in her head. She's told her she's paranoid because she's writing detective stories. Um, she's a bit like the armchair detective. Go to the cafe. And I... When we get there, she'll have a paddy about the coffee machine. I don't really understand this quest. Like, what's in it for me? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Go to the cafe. Trying to go to the cafe, but you keep going to different locations along the way and talking to me. Here's the cafe. Apparently we escorted her. She's saying, is the coffee poisoned? Now she's going on about poisoning the coffee. Making up stories about it. And the guy from that runs the cafe is coming over and having a pop because the coffee's not poisoned. I'm explaining to him about the problem that she has. Like, to be honest, if she was concerned that everyone was going to kill her all over the place, it would actually become funny to me at some point and then it would become livable. Like, initially... 
Like, I'm not I, like when people are anxious about stuff. I'm not really angry with them. Yeah, like if they like I don't know if you're with someone and you, I, for example, got off the plane and we went through and we had to get on a train. And they were like, oh, this train station, all these people, it's making me anxious. And I was like, but the train's there. We need to get on it. And they're like, yeah, but I'm having an anxiety problem. I'd be like, okay, we don't have to go through there. Like, we're not going now while it's busy. We'll have a sit down in the cafe in the airport or something and do something different. We'll deal with, you know, we'll, I don't have to force you through your anxiety problem and I wouldn't be cross. But with her, when I met her, we went going around and she was just like going off and up because it's a quest. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing here? And like, now I'm here telling her, stop imagining things. <laughs> and I, after a bit, like I said, it would become funny. Like everywhere we go, she's going to think that something's going to kill her. So I take her to like, you know, um, on a walking tour of Jack the Ripper's crimes or something, and she'd go nuts. <laughs> well, I'd get on a, you know, I'd get her on a roller coaster, and then I'd get a handful of nuts and bolts out of my hand, and just drop them on the floor, and go, "Whoops, does that come out of your chair?" <laughs> and she'd go nuts. Like, it'd be funny. <laughs> I wouldn't do that either, because it'd be bad. But um, she won't stop going on about this fucking everything's gonna kill her. Looks like no more free coffee for <laughs> and that's the quest. I met someone, she wouldn't stop going on about how someone's going to kill her, and now we're in Fontaine, and that's the quest. <laughs> Tea parties are a must for the well-mannered. If you'd like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be happy to teach you. Yeah, Val's decided to pack it in, yeah. And AD's, uh... Yeah, I think he's completely... I think he will carry on doing rumbles. But I think he's... You know, I think he will carry on doing rumbles, but I think he's basically fucked it off. I think he just needs to keep... What? How many people are there? There's like five or ten. Like He needs to keep them on. He's got to hope people don't discover... Because some people will be on direct debit with um, Patron. On PayPal or something. And they won't have looked at it for months. And it will just be going out of their PayPal. And they just won't notice because, you know... It's just like ten pounds so that goes out amongst all their other spending on PayPal in a month. They just don't haven't done their audit. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people have got things they're subscribed to, and it you know just goes out, doesn't it? So um, he's got to hope those people don't remember, and that's it. <laughs> um, the last Val videos, I looked at them, and they like not very watchable for me. For us on stream, they're not watchable, but we've looked at them and they're not that, you know, it's just her basically saying, like, I did this, I didn't say that, and we all know that, but and she decided to fuck it off. I had a thought, though. I did have an actual thought, right? Which was if she doesn't want to do YouTube like that, that's fine, but I still think she's got... No, I kept saying this thing, which is that she's got the ability to make good videos about narcissism. So maybe, for example, I mean, she doesn't want to do because I put my willy in his mouth, but on Super Chuffer, I didn't put anyone's willy in anyone's mouth. Did I? On Super Chuffer channel. I'm still the same person, but on that channel, there's been no willy, there's been no Alan. So could I maybe say to Val, I mean, this is just an idea I've had, but could I say to Val, we'll produce a video together. Slinky Socks can do some editing. Val can do some talking. Um, we can make some videos about narcissism. We can put them on the Super Chuffer channel, which is monetized, and you can all have your little, you know, third of a cut of a thing. And it won't be loads of money, like, but, you know, if you want, you know, you can have... I don't really like giving, like, ongoing... I like to do it at the end of the month, whatever the video made, you get a third of it, and then that's it. And I, the little trickle that happens later, which is, like, you know, 10p a month or something onwards, like, rather than doing 50p a year commissions, I just say, like, at the end of the month, and then we're done. Um... But it's not really for financial. It's just, I don't know, I just thought there could be like, you know, between us, Super Chuffer channel, we could create some Val videos that are just not about Alan, but have Val in them talking about narcissism because they'd be really good. <laughs> I could be like the producer because, you know, Val can do the talking and then Slinky Socks, we know he's now editing. So I think it'd be good to do like combo team stuff. So it's just a concept as an idea. Obviously, I'm doing basically nothing for my cut, but I could get involved up to a certain level. Night like guest slot, Val's video about narcissism. Or maybe Stephen Val can interact on the videos as well, you know. 
collaboration videos. They're fun. An agony aunt stream. That'd be cool. The value I'm adding is that I've got the platform where we can get the, I, you know, Super Chuff and Imp Squad views on the monetized channel. Um, hopefully growing towards something bigger. Like obviously I could be in the video as well and be part of it, you know, if I wanted to be. Like part of the script. We, I could add, you know, scripting and... Um, and uh, I'm saying this with my brain now, the way I feel now. Not now, but, you know, I could... Uh, I, could, I know what I want to see as like the thumbnail, the content. You know, I could be like script editor, so to speak. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to be like read this. I want to be like say this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure that between us as a group, like we can make some quite good stuff. And then Val would still have an outlet on YouTube where she can make really good content as like a guest on the Super Chuffer channel. And like I'd want that, so I'd like be happy with that. <laughs> I don't know. That was just a thought I had anyway, because she's not going to do any more on her channel, so. Um, that's what she said anyway. I did um, learn about how to operate an operative mechanism. I think I did. Don't have any cause for any wishes, because I've got all the cool characters. So, here's the, here's the thing. I need to grind up a few more books. Which is absolutely, you know, five levels of books, no problem. But I'm not going to get the 50 whatever late like lilies tonight. Because they've not respawned, so I've got to wait for that. But we've got another new character. Who's going to languish. She's not going to get the book, she's just going to languish. So everything's going towards the new Archon character. She's not even getting the books. But to ascend her, I've got to find this thing and kill this as well. It's a Torbillion device I need, and it comes from the experimental field generator, and I've never thought that. Gives me Geo stuff. So, I've never thought that. I haven't got enough uh, resin to fight it today, because I've Boiled my resin. I've got a fragile. I haven't got a fragile resin. Might not be able to do that now. Being too popular uh, can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? Just going on about herself. Just checking the teapot. Oh, big up's cruel. Big up's cruel. Farina. Do you know what? Right. I got Farina on my first pull. I didn't even do a temple. The stream should be up as a stream. Uh, it was two days ago, maybe, or yesterday. Whenever, like, the day after it came out, or the day it came out, I, I was like, I can't wait for this, right? I did Farina, and I got a temple. I said, what, why don't I just add up to the temple with, like, individual wishes? And then we'll get to the... Because, you know, we'll, we're at, like, 75-something. Let's just go to the end of the... And then let's start doing them in tens. And I just hit it on the first chuffing. Didn't even have to wish again. So I said I'll do ten more wishes just for Charlotte. Because I don't want anything else. I want Charlotte. And I did get myself a collie. That did happen. And then I got a Charlotte. Um, or did I, did I get a collie first? And then I got Farina. I think I might have got collie first and then Farina. Actually, I tell a lie. I added it up to ten. Got collie. And then on my first temple I got Farina, didn't I? But yeah. Absolutely guaranteed. And that... Um, and that also means I've got 26k wishes still, and four of these. So I only spent like 30, 25 wishes to get Charlotte and and Farina, something really well. And I'm not going to be doing um, Weapon Banner, but like part of me screams wish for the sword. But uh, no, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be saving it because, as we know, N Nahida. Navia, what's her name? Navia. It's Navia, isn't it? Navia and uh, another one's come in. So, yeah, Navia. I'm just going to absolutely just wait for Navia. And there's another one that's been... Who's Taylor Swift? This one. Oh, Navia's going to be voiced by Taylor Swift. Who's Taylor Swift? Boring. Navia, really? Else more interesting to do? 
she is voiced by Taylor Swift, or is going to be, or is already, or she looks like her. I, just, I was going to be like, what? She's in the game. No, yeah. And then there's another one after that that's like on the list, isn't there? That's like um, teased, that goes up in the sky and does some cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to need those primos, but absolutely, this one is mine. And as character ascension, we've got uh, 65 of 70, but I was just saying, it's these damn lilies. Chevreus. Yeah, Chevreus. I want her as well. Exactly. She does look four-star. I'm thinking she just comes in the package. I'm thinking we don't miss out on her as well. Um, but I've dumped on some artifacts. I need to do some artifact. You know, that, that comes at the end, but I've just dumped on some artifacts. And her weapon, I've given her the Finale of the Deep, which also needs enhancing all the way to the top. But I've just handed that Tea on to her. parties are a must for the well-mannered. Because obviously it looks right. If you'd right. like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be happy to teach you. And also a recent modification is I put the sack, the sack frags on the wet boy. Minka, do you want to come up here? Can I just get you in? Why didn't you just move away when I can't pick you up? Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, I'll pick you up. Come on then. I'll pick you up. I've got to pick you up, bud. There you are, I picked you up. Um, I put the sack frags on him. Big up Susie Jew, thank you for the gifted sub. And I've got a question to ask answer as well about um, Peter Hart and Sean Atwood. Um, and thank you for the gifting tear sub, Susie Jew. Thank you. Um, have you seen Peter Hyatt on Sean Atwood? Yes, I've seen him on um, Richard D. Hall. I haven't seen him on Sean Atwood, but I've seen him on Richard D. Hall. So he is good, yeah. Um, I haven't built her at all, really. Full HP in the skills as a 0% attack. What? 0% attack, yeah, okay. So just HP, 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 okay. I haven't built her at all yet. I've just. Being too popular um, can be such a hassle. Who knew the she keeps talking because we're in the teapot. So much. Uh, I've just given her the, the books and the sword, essentially. So, I, I, it might be the wrong sword for her, but <laughs> it's got something to do with HP on it. And uh, the sword can be whatever, yeah. I, when we get the artifacts on her, we'll choose them. But at the moment, I've just put on uh, artifacts from the... Hi new hydro set nymphs cup or whatever to give it the it just looks like it's her artifact so I just put them on her I haven't chosen any like a monocle Two seems about right though, are a it? must for the well mannered um, if you'd like to learn <laughs> the proper etiquette but yeah we'll build her up teach you. Uh, it's just there's no point in the because I can't get any more lilies I've done the quest to go around the tree today I've just been around the tree um, unlocked the tree and the little we've got to leave here because it just keeps talking uh, map. Let's just go somewhere else in the map. Did I even do what I'm doing here? Hang on. So I talk to Tubbies. Yeah, I haven't got enough. This realm is. As always. What's going on? I haven't done this. This realm is the realm depot. No, I haven't got anything good. Okay. Bye bye. If you bye bye, Tobias. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, you've done the Archon quest. I'm going to do that tomorrow then, yeah. I'll do that tomorrow. What I've done is uh, I've done the tree quest because um, apparently it opened up a shop. Tree, right? Apparently, it opened up a shop, and I could buy some of those fucking. Um, and don't get your hopes up. Apparently, it's a one and done deal. Apparently, I could buy fifteen of those lilies. I haven't been able to find the character to buy the lilies, and so I didn't end up with any extra lilies. But you can pick more from around the here after you've done the quest. So I picked a few more. But essentially, I'm just waiting on the respawn to get my lilies, and then I can upgrade my character again. So. I, I, but she is absolutely good. Being I put her in the slot for the... Be such a hassle. Um, I'm, I'm carrying Yao Yao in the middle now. That should be the other Archon. That should be... Uh, 
Little green archon, what's she fucking call? The bird archon girl. I can't remember her name now. No, Nadia, isn't it? Nahida. Nahida, yeah, that should be Nahida. And then Farina in the, the final slot as a healer, I think. But I put her on as a healer, and when I put her out for healing, I get killed, and so does she, because she's a level 65, and she hasn't got proper things. But she's got cool stuff, but we tend to get killed. It's a bit of a chuffer, isn't it? They know exactly how many lilies are in the game, and they know how many are available. And it's quite a lot, but everyone got Farina loving it, trying to level up. There's no way you could have got any of those lilies beforehand, and now everyone's time-gated. It's, it's a lily grind. The only thing that people can do to jump ahead is to go in other people's worlds and steal their lilies. <laughs> so it's a bit of a weird chuffer, that is. But uh, that's just what they do, I suppose, isn't it? Keep everyone, you know, halfway through the process. The problem with it is, is that most people don't aren't really able to play with it unless she gets leveled up, are they? Boring. Isn't there anything else more interesting to do? Right, you. But I put her in the squad anyway, and she just gets us killed sometimes. So I put on an extra healer. <laughs> But it's good, and I'm really enjoying Genshin at the moment. The new area was really good. I enjoyed looking. I just went around and did all the um, looking at it before I opened up the statues and did the quests. And I enjoyed a lot of it. The new mechanisms, it's all good. And I think the story quest is going to, you know, you know, Dover and Dolly's mom is fed up with the fucking opera house. But I think it's building towards something cool. So I'm hoping that this weekend we have a cool story quest session with the main story. Um, then, the main after the main story's done, it's talking of story quests. Um, this list, I don't mind this bottom part of the list now. This is started. To, these are Inazuma and um, Siri Island and stuff on this list now. But up here is all these fucking like people's sto stories, isn't it? It's all story quests. Look at all these story quests that are on my list. I need to get rid of some of these. There's a bunch of them. Um, and then there's some of these newer, um, more interesting, slightly bigger quests, I think. There's quite a few here that we've still got to do in Sumeru, so quite a lot of quests to get working through, which I want to be doing. I hope it's not all talking, and I know a lot of the story quests are talking, but I'll put up with a lot of talking, enough some talking. Because it's been really good, just all the exploration of this part of the map, the new area, like the bit that I love the most, where I just run around and go, there's a chest, there's a thing, oh, there's some hilly churls, and oh, now there's no hilly churls, oh, thank you very much for the chest, you know, doing all that. And the slightly more complicated mechanisms and the underwater sections have all been banging. Um, and I've done a couple of this little side quests just off stream, just because fuck it. Uh, and they've been good too. Uh, it's been the right pace and the right challenge and all of that. I think I really like Fontaine, yeah. I didn't vibe with the desert as, but, as well, but the Fontaine I really like. To a certain extent, there has been a lot of talking. <laughs> there has been a lot of talking. Five hours, but no filler. Yeah, that's okay then. It just some of it felt like the prison days, yeah, and some like some of it felt like, like in the prison. I think one of the worst things was going up and down in the lift and going back and forth to the place to have a conversation between two people or whatever. And it's just like I don't want to go in this lift again. And I'm not going. There were times where I had to turn it off and say I'm not doing this anymore. Like, if you're just going to waste my time, I'm not going to play it. <laughs> but I did get through it. I've been banging the grind on things to try and up the characters as well. So I've done all my resin and I've crafted all my resin today as well, which was a mistake because I could have done more boss kills. But, uh, let's do my commissions. 
Thank you for comp Today when you do your commissions, you don't have to do them. It just gives you the stuff because you've been on quests. I love that now. And then the other character, like I say, poor Charlotte is going to be in the doldrums. But what do I need for her is stuff I've already got loads of. And that, which I can't get. So, little icy camera. And what, what have they done dressing her up in red if she's an ice character? It's just, it's just 